Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and we're going to look at some acupressure points for the face. Again, just like the ear, these acupressure points for the face are so important, and we do so many habitual facial expressions and little ticks all the time. So this can really help to kind of clean the slate, to do some of these points at least every day. So the first one we're going to look at is the third eye. And so you want to get your, your knuckle and press that into that third eye position. And you can use the opposite hand to kind of hold it there and steady it so that you can really kind of nod your head into your knuckle. Now this helps to balance the function of the pituitary gland and it really, if you hold it for long enough and really work with your breath and softening other parts of your body, it really helps to relieve anxiety. The next one that we're going to look at is on the forehead right above the, the eyebrows. And so you want to get um, your two fingers and you want to put the finger pads above your, your eyebrows, right on your forehead, in line with your pupils, or about in line with your pupils. So hopefully you can see me here. You're going to press the finger pads um, in line with the pupils above the eyebrow, and you're going to press in and go up a little bit, and then you're going to just allow your head to kind of lean into your fingers. So your head feels supported, and you relax your, your jaw. And this is said to help to clear the eyes and to help with worry. Of course, again, you have to hold it long enough, so maybe one to two minutes, and then working with your breath, being your first person expert, softening your body, trying to get rid of as much tension as you can. All right, so our third point is gonna be on the jaw. So you actually, when you're working with the, the hinge of the jaw, you want to have a lightish touch. You don't want to use too much force in this area. So you can take whatever finger is comfortable for you, or you could take your knuckles, and you want to press in a little bit, and you want to allow the teeth to part here. So you want to put a little bit of pressure on that joint of your jaw, and this, of course, relaxes the jaw and the throat. And it's said to kind of soften resentment <laughs> to others and to yourself. And again, you're going to hold this for one or two minutes. And remember that the, the muscle of the jaw and the jaw is one of the strongest um, parts of our body. And that we tend to hold a lot of tension and gripping in this area that we're so unaware of. So when I do this point, and I try to do it at least a couple times a week, I really feel more expansive in my head space and a lot less tension in my neck. Okay, so the last one we're going to look at, which I love, is the, the cheekbone. So you're going to go underneath the cheekbone, and you can do this with your knuckles or with the fingers. And again, we want to be in line with the pupils. So you're going to press in and you're going to lift up a little bit on your cheekbones. And you're going to hold this gentle but firm pressure one or two minutes. And this is so great because it helps to open up your sinuses. And if you're having a hard time deciding about something, you feel doubtful, this is a really good point to hold. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.